this is cooking with freddie and if this is your first time on my channel welcome and if you're one of my subscribers hey friend today we will be making pineapple sriracha wings with shrimp fried rice served in a pineapple bowl stay tuned and see how your girl get this done All right, so we're going to start off by cleaning off our meat. Cleaning your meat is optional. I do understand that some people feel like you do not need to do this. So if you feel this way, just skip this part. But I like to clean mine. So when I do clean mine, I use the lemon juice. I use some white distilled vinegar. And I'm going to use some salt. And I'm going to use some fresh limes. And I'm going to take my fresh lime. I'm going to squeeze it on the chicken to make sure each one of them gets some of that lime. Each one of them gets some of that sanitizing mixture. And each of them gets some of that loving. Okay, let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes if you have the time if you don't baby after you do this go ahead and wash it right away because it will still work out great okay all right so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna rinse out that sanitizing mixture that we made to clean off our chicken and as i always state the reason why i clean my meat is for the smell okay it's for the smell you don't have that raw smell okay all right so then i'm gonna go ahead i'm use some onion powder and i'm gonna use some garlic powder and i'm gonna use some poultry seasoning and when i'm done using my poultry season i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use some saison so i could give it a little bit of color but you know what the saison ain't give it enough color so to give it some more color i went ahead and i'm gonna use some paprika and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use some cayenne and when i'm done with using all of those actually it should have enough color by then it's looking very pretty very nice girl yes all right we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix that all together mix it mix it mix it mix it mix it all right boom set it to the side on on to the next let's work on our shrimp we're gonna take the the whatever you want to call it um you're gonna take off the skin of the shrimp you're gonna peel the shrimp okay you're gonna peel the shrimp remove the little legs remove the tail all of that gotta go we don't need that for this recipe so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna remove that then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna clean the uh, the shrimp so there's two places in the shrimp that you need to clean and that's the front and then the back the front is usually it come clean for you unless you buy it like at a meat store or something but most likely if you buy the shrimp in a little bag the, that part it comes out for you they already cleaned that part for you okay so boom i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna move the stomach lining so i'm just gonna go ahead and put my knife down like that and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull the little black stomach lining out and boom i'm gonna do this and you know what some people it don't even bother them to eat the stomach lining if that don't bother you then baby that's your business go ahead and leave it on there but you know what that's your business not your don't invite me to eat to your house, but that's your business. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a piece of lime juice, and I'm going to clean up my shrimp so it don't have that raw smell, that fishy smell. Then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to rinse it off. Make sure you don't rinse your, your um, shrimp off with hot water because you're going you gonna to really mess it up. Make sure you use cold water to, to, to um, rinse off your shrimp because you don't want to cook your shrimp, okay? All right. So then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take a paper towel, and I'm going to pat my shrimp dry. And the reason for this because we want our shrimp to sizzle and not boil. This is our cleaned, nice shrimp. Now we're going to go to flavoring up the shrimp. So I made some fresh garlic butter from scratch. If you do not know how to make garlic butter, I will have a link in the description box on how for you to make this garlic butter, okay? And But you know what? They also sell garlic butter at the store. It don't taste the same, but if you don't want to do all that, you could go ahead and purchase that, all right? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting up my green onion, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that to the side. Then I'm going to take my carrots and I'm going to clean my carrots. I'm going to peel my carrots, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop up my carrots. I see a lot of people don't don't like peel their carrot. They just like cut it up. Like I don't know. To me, I feel like I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I got to peel it. But like I always say, if that's your business, if that if you don't want to, that's your business. That's your problem. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop up the carrots. You could use how much carrots you so ever desire. I use one and a half. Okay, I felt like that was enough. 
If you want to use the two whole carrots, baby, go ahead and do that. So I have the small onion that I'm cutting up as well. And I'm going to use most of that, but I'm not going to use all of it. And um, this is what I have. I have my onion. I have my green onion. I have my carrots. I have my peas. I have my shrimp. And I got some eggs. All this is going to, we're going to need this for our rice. Boom. So here I have my wok. If you don't have this kind of pot, you could get it at Walmart. I literally got this big behind thing for $5 at Walmart. But if you don't want to spend a little $5, baby, just use a regular pot at your house. It's going to work just fine, okay? So, I boom, I got the heat on medium-high heat. The one thing about this pot, it do get hot very quick, okay? So, I got a medium-high heat. I put some garlic butter in there, and I put some soy sauce in there, and I clean, um, I cooked my shrimp. Only let it cook for about four to three minutes because shrimp don't take that long to cook, and you don't need no overcooked shrimp. So, then we're going to go ahead. We're going to remove it from the pot, and we're going to set it to the side. We're going to add some garlic butter, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to add our eggs. So um, for my eggs, you don't have to drop your eggs like this in there. You could already have your eggs scrambled, and then you put them in there. But I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to drop them in there like that. So you could do that if you want to because you could always scramble it while it's in there. So because I'm the Haitian in me, I have to remove the, the eye of the egg. That's what we call it, okay? The zier of the zier. The, 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 the zier yeah all right so then after that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix that all together because like i said you know this is supposed to be scrambled all right and i'm also going the haitian in me always gonna also squeeze a little bit of lime juice in there so that our eggs don't have that outside smell our eggs do not smell raw I'll, if you don't know what i'm talking about then don't worry about it don't do that just skip that part but if you you know what i'm talking about then you know what i'm talking about if you know then you know if you don't know, well, then you just don't know. All right? All right. So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some sesame oil. We're going to add some sesame oil. We're going to add our peas. We're going to add our carrots. And we're going to mix them. And we're going to let those things cook. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add our onions. And we're going to add our green onions that we chopped up earlier. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix that up together. And we're going to let them cook. You let these things cook to your preferred liking. Because some people like their stuff really well done. And some people like their stuff a little raw. I'm the really well done kind of person. I like my stuff to be a little really well done. Okay. So I'm going to add some um, garlic butter so I can give this some flavor. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start adding my rice. This is pre-cooked white rice. If you do not know how to make white rice, I will also have a link in the description box that will take you on a video on how to make white rice okay boom so here we have we have our white rice this is a great re recipe if you're trying to recycle your rice if you already made dinner the day before and you made white rice and um you don't want no more white rice so you what am i gonna do besides of disposing of that rice and wasting that food groceries too expensive right now to be wasting food all right so you could go ahead and recycle it and make yourself a whole new meal with this pre-cooked white rice okay all right so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some garlic butter into that rice so we could give that thing some flavor and we could make sure that it tastes really good okay um and then after i put my garlic butter i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to mix it all together so that butter could spread throughout the rice and not be in one area sitting there looking slow all right so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add our eggs remember the pre eggs the cook the eggs we pre-cooked already before we did the rice or whatever we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add the um the eggs okay we're gonna add the eggs and every, just like everything else we're gonna mix the rice all over there so it don't be sitting in one spot next i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some soy sauce remember when adding soy sauce it's up to you some people like their food a little more saltier than others some people don't like their food with a lot of seasoning at all it's approximately up to you and plus the fact that you're using recycled white rice i don't know how much salt you put in that white rice i don't know so it's really up to you the best thing i could tell you to do is add some taste it see if it needs more add some it's always better to add a little bit at a time because you can always add more but once you add too much you can't you you don't you don't mess it up now you don't mess it up now just go ahead throw it away and try again so it's better for for you to add a little bit try it and if you feel like you need more soy sauce add more soy sauce okay all right next when we're done with that we're gonna go ahead we're going to add our shrimp we're gonna take our shrimp we're just gonna mix it all around by the time we add our shrimp the rice is done cooking okay you could put it on like low heat so it could stay hot while you finish working on your other things and um just let it sit there because there's nothing else you need to done the shrimp is already cooked everything is cooked all right just go ahead and set your rice to the side and go on and move on to the next thing so boom here we have our pineapple 
I'm going to wash our pineapple, especially because we're going to be using this as a bowl, you know. We don't know where that pineapple been, how many miles it had to travel to get to us. We're going to make sure we wash our pineapple thoroughly. All right, once our pineapple is done being washed, we're going to go ahead, we're going to cut it down the middle. Baby, you get it as close as to the middle as you possibly can, okay, as you possibly can. Then use a nice sharp knife to try to cut it down, to try to cut it and cut through the stem if you see your knife is not cutting through the stem like mine i took that knife out and i went and i got myself a rigid knife okay so i could finish cutting it through all the way through all the way down okay all right and boom once i got it open this is how it looked boom bam it's beautiful already next thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut into and we're gonna cut the inside like a rectangle okay we're gonna go ahead we're gonna cut that because we need to remove that pineapple the inside filling because remember we're gonna use this as a bowl and this is the easiest way to remove the pineapple okay well inside of the pineapple okay so we're gonna cut lines through it like this and then we're gonna put two lines like this then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna start scooping out the pineapple pieces we're going to put them into a bowl because we're going to need that later to make our pineapple sriracha wings all right we're going to go ahead we're going to set that to the side and when it came to the core i took out i took it out and i put it on the side because i need to remove the core that's in the middle but i also wanted the good pineapple that's on the side of the core if you know what i mean okay so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to scrape the remainder of the pineapple that's left inside of the pineapple and i'm going to put it into my bowl so i could use it later on okay we're not going to dispose of that we're gonna we're gonna need that we're just gonna go ahead and scrape our pineapple until it's nice and clean and it look like a beautiful pineapple bowl just like that so now here I am removing the core um, piece in the middle and taking the side of the little pineapple and putting it into my bowl, baby. Okay, because all that matters. You see that good old chunky piece? We don't want to. We don't want to waste that. All we want to do is um, put, put put throw away the core. Um, I think this is a good time to let you guys know I'm low key allergic to pineapples. Don't tell nobody though. But I'm still gonna eat it. If I die, I die. The pineapple tastes good. Oh, well. Anywho, so here I go. I have my pineapple. I put it inside Tyrone, which is my ninja, if you don't know. Then I'm using this pineapple right here, this pineapple um, puree. It's not really a puree, whatever. I'm using that. I have it in the description box for you, okay? I use that right there, and I put that in there, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to blend that. Okay, we're going to blend that pineapple so we could use this to make our so pineapple sriracha wings, and this is how it looks, all right? So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to take the chicken. Remember the chicken we had set to the side? We're going to go ahead. We're going to put it in the fryer, okay? I have my heat at 350 degrees, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to let it fry. You can also fry these wings in your air air fryer and it will be just fine okay you could fry them at 350 degrees for um 20 minutes and at 10 minutes stop flip it and put it back in there joke okay just in case you want to use the air fryer all right so boom we put i put mine in a deep fryer boom because i want to cook a a, a a good amount so boom here i go i have my um pot i'm gonna put some butter into my pot i only use it about um one tablespoon of butter and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna let that butter melt once that butter has melted into my bowl i'm my my bowl child into my pot and my pot is at medium high heat okay i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some honey okay i'm gonna go ahead and put some honey into there okay i'm put like one tablespoon of honey and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna mix that all together okay Okay, I'm missing it all together. Yes, 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 just like that. So this is the pineapple. The pineapple I made, I add about like, I'll say um, one cup of the pine pineapple puree that I made. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some sriracha. And I'm going to put about a half a cup of sriracha into there. Yes boom boom all right you need that that that's what's gonna set off you can't do this without the sriracha because before the sriracha tastes like medicine so boom here it is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let that simmer down and cook and i was like mm, let me go ahead and i'm gonna add some red pepper flakes okay so i went ahead and i added some red pepper flakes just to give some color like that and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm mixing i'm gonna let this salt kind of thicken up a little bit kind of cook a little bit kind of simmer down a little bit then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna, i felt like i need a little bit more honey so i added about a half a teaspoon of honey into there and i added a little bit of the pineapple preserve that's what it was pineapple preserve into that okay i added about like I want to say a tablespoon all right and boom i'm gonna go ahead and i turned off my heat by now and all i'm doing is mixing the wings into there basically um coating my wings with that pineapple mixture 
that pineapple sriracha mixer all right boom then after that, i'm gonna go ahead i didn't want it to continue to cook so i went ahead i took it out and i put it into my bowl i took some of that sauce and put it into my bowl just so i could still coat them i was shaking it up a little bit coat them coat them make sure all of the wings got some of that pineapple sriracha mixer then just for a little garnish i went ahead and i put a little parsley on there baby because you know parsley make everything look good once you put parsley on something it look like you did something even if you ain't do nothing but even though i did do something but even if you didn't do something okay all right so now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix it up just like this and bam there we have it you guys all i did was put the rice on the bowl and put the the, the wings in the in the pineapple bowl and there we had it i also fried me some plantains if you want to do the plantains baby i have a video on how for you to make the fried plantains as well and there you have it you guys pineapple sriracha wings with shrimp fried rice Woo child isn't she a beauty isn't she a beauty oh lord tell me that don't look good tell me a lot tell me that don't look good because you know you're lying child yes child this is amazing it tastes so good and everybody in your family will love this you guys um thank you guys for watching do not forget to like do not forget to comment and most of all go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time